Well, I'm not a specialist in, in church courts, though actually I have worked a lot on church courts. One difference is the, the relationship between our church and our citizenry. In many parts of the world where there are church courts, uh, they're in, within the Roman Catholic tradition. Ours, church courts really, mainly the records develop from the time when this was a Protestant country. And therefore, basically, the church is in an uneasy relationship with the state. It has absolutely no secular power. It can't throw anyone into prison. It can't burn anyone in an auto de fe or anything like that. All it can do is basically say, tut, tut, you, know, you did something wrong there. Uh, they can dress some people up in funny hats and put them in the corner of the church and tell people they're very naughty. That's all they can do. Or they can say, you know, you mustn't come into church for six months. Well, if the offence was not coming to church, no one is going to mind very much. So there's nothing they can do. So the whole thing is really a con trick, the church courts, to a certain extent. I mean, they had some sanctions, hardly any. And the process, therefore, is much milder, gentler. There's nothing really at stake. It's not a matter of, uh, for most of the period, of very, very serious her heretical trials or anything. It's A lot of it is sort of making a mess in the churchyard or uh, letting your pigs rattle around or... Um, making a noise in a service or breaking a window or uh, not having um, your Bible with you or something like that. So minor offences of all sorts and kinds which annoy the clergy and so they summon them. So the, the whole tone and the procedures are different from one where you've basically got a matter of souls which are going to be damned unless the church gets hold of them, grabs them and pulls them back from damnation. Because ultimately in Protestantism the church has no power. In Catholic countries they basically wanted to save your soul from being damned and it was the duty of the church to do this. They stood between you and God and regulated your behavior. In Protestantism you have a direct connection to God. Your soul is ultimately in contact with God through your own prayers and your own beliefs. The church is only vaguely involved at all and therefore they don't have a right to pry into your inner life or to dictate what you do too much. So they have to hold themselves back because in the end you can say, you know, I am a Protestant and this is my belief and it's nothing to do with you. So that it's much milder.